Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, so let me share you the best features of the OnePlus 9 Nano smartphone. So this OnePlus 9 Nano smartphone is actually runs on Oxygen OS 11.2 based on Android 11 operating system. Well guys, I have already posted its unboxing and uh, quick review about this OnePlus 9 Nano smartphone. Well, in this video, I am going to share you the best features of this OnePlus 9 Nano smartphone, so which is running on the Oxygen OS 11.2 operating system. Well guys, now let's get move on into this video, guys. Well guys now the first feature is the quick launch so whenever you are locking the smartphone and uh, turning on the fingerprint unlock so during uh, unlocking the screen you can uh, do the other uh, features like this so you can able to uh, uh, make a quick launch of uh, your shortcuts as per your wish so to access like these features so firstly let's go to the settings option and there go to the utilities and here is the option quick launch so just uh, turn on this option and after that here is a shortcut settings so just click on that so i have already added a four shortcuts you can also add uh, some more shortcuts so it has a pre-built shortcuts uh, and it has uh, you can also select uh, some of the apps so once you all done that means so whenever you are uh, unlocking your smartphone so just uh, tap on the fingerprint uh, sensor and uh, just continuously pressing the fingerprint scanner and then you will get a quick launch launch option so de don't take off your uh, finger so so just drag on uh, each shortcut so, so like in case if i want to search something means so i can easily uh, click on the search and then i can easily go to the some of the search options so this is uh, one of the easy way uh, and the user experience is very good on using these features well then now next feature is the developer mode so you can enable the developer mode easily by just go to the setting option and there go to the about phone option and here go to the build number so now just tap on the build number for seven times now the developer mode option will be enabled after that go back and go to the systems uh, option and inside the system system settings you will find the developer option now you will get is more hidden shortcuts and features in this developer option so you can explore more features in this developer option so try your own way and uh, access uh, and explore more features the next feature is the hide password feature so whenever you are locking the screen and during unlocking so in case if you are a uh, so putting some password means so there might be a chance of show your password so to hide that you can do that by go to the settings option and there go to the privacy and and inside so here is the option show password so by default it is actually turned on so but just turn off this option and that's it and the next feature is the uh, improving the face unlock feature so to do that so just go to the settings option and there go to the security and lock screen and go to the face unlock option now just to put your uh, password now here is the option face unlock assistive lighting so just turn on this so once you turn on this in, in case if you are in a non lighting situation means so there is no light means so so that time it is actually brightens the display uh, with the help of the brightness the face unlock will unlock your smartphone now the next feature is the emergency rescue in the settings option go to the security and lock screen and here is the option emergency rescue so this is a important feature and it is best for your privacy and security related so using this feature you can able to um, so make a uh, emergency rescue so here just uh, edit the uh, emergency information and contacts like your name and your uh, what is our blood donor and the emergency contact number like that so once you have filled up all these things so here is the quick sos so in the uh, power bus power button so just uh, tap three times and after that it is actually activate the emergency rescue so in case if you are uh, need emergency means and during that time you just activate this and then the given contact number will be get notified that uh, so you are under the emergency so it will be helpful so in case if you are in the emergency situation like that means but don't use this feature unwantedly so only use this feature in case if you are a so literally need a emergency only then the next feature is the app pending feature so using this feature it is actually a great for uh, privacy and security now just go to the settings option and here 
go to the option uh, security and lock screen and here is the option app pinning so just turn on this feature and there is an, uh, one more option ask for pin before unpinning so also turn on this feature too so once you turn down now in case if any of your friend asking your smartphone means so you can give your smartphone without any hurdles so like uh, so you can uh, make a pin the particular apps so for example if your friend is uh, dedicatedly using a particular application like that mean you can pin that particular application only so after that while using your friend can't able to move on to the other application or he, he cannot be able to access your gallery like that he can able to use that only uh, that application only so for that so just go to the so recent tabs and now i am going to give you a so chrome so in the chrome option just a long press and the tap on pin so that's it now this chrome application is actually pinned so the user can now able to access all the features in the chrome application like he can search anything in the chrome and like that he can do all the things but he can't uh, able to go back from this uh, application and he can't able to access the notification bar and he can't able to do all these things so to unpin this simultaneously press this back and over buttons so once you have done this the phone is actually locked so now to once you unlock this smartphone only so the uh, app pinning will be turned off so now the app pinning will be turned off then it is actually goes to the other option now you can then only the user can able to access the other contents in the smartphone so this app pinning is really a best features for a security measure then the next feature is the edge lighting notifications so using this feature whenever you are uh, receiving a notification you will get a edge lighting effects for this just go to the settings and there uh, display option then there is a ambient display and here is the horizontal light so here is the option so just there is a four color option blue red gold and purple so select your favorite color and just save on this so once you have done that so whenever you are getting a notification in the ambient display you will get a um, horizontal lighting effects at the edge light so at the both either sides of the display you will get a lighting effects whenever you are receiving a notifications and then the next option is the fingerprint animation so whenever you are accessing a screen fingerprint you will get you can uh, able to customize your different animations to do that just go to the settings option and there go to the customization and here is the fingerprint animation just click on that so here is actually a four uh, fingerprint animation you can select any one of this so every time you do that and uh, now just unlock your smartphone so once you unlocking you will get that animation now you can also change the ascent colors like uh, so here is the these are the ascent colors so so in the wi-fi settings with so that blue color and the brightness so in the blue color so these are all the ascent color you can change this ascent color as per your wish so just go to the settings and then customization now here is the ascent color you can uh, select as per your wish now i am selecting the red color and that's just save that and now you will get that as in color so now you will here visit here you are uh, looking that red color in the brightness and the other settings option in the notification bar and similarly in the settings option also in the left side all the icons will be in the red color option now next feature is the ambient display settings so for to turn on the ambient display setting just go to the settings and then near uh, display and here is the ambient display so by default it will be turned off just turn on that and also here is the option always on ambient display so just give the all day so then it will be uh, available for all the days or also you can schedule the ambient display as per your wish from the time you are setting based on the time you are setting and after that so also you can uh, change the uh, different uh, settings for the ambient display so for that go to the this settings customization option and here is the options like uh, clock on ambient display you can select different uh, clock styles as per your wish and then it has the canvas so this is the new feature so using this you can uh, just make your any of your selfie and just select your selfie and make a preview so this is a canvas image so the so this is the actual uh, feature you are looks like so whenever you are setting this so in the ambient display itself you can set your uh, canvas image so just tick on this option and activate this option 
so now the selected wallpaper is actually activated so once you lock the settings so here is the ambient display settings so once you unlock now you will get this uh, colorful image so in the ambient display you will get here your own canvas image now the next setting is the best display settings so this smartphone is actually uh, comes with the super amoled display uh, with the 120 hz of screen refresh rate. so that is also you can able to do the more uh, settings customization in the display option to do that first go to the settings option in the display settings so there is an um, firstly go to the advanced and here is a screen calibration now just the by default it will be in the vivid color so just go to the just select the advanced and here is the amoled white camera settings so just select this so it will give you a more uh, good saturation in the colors so you will get a more colors in the display also there is a more setting standards like uh, you can set the s rgb color settings or a display p3 but the amoled white camera is looking good in the screen calibration and after that here is a screen refresh rate option so you can select whether 60 hertz or 120 hertz as per your wish so if you select 120 hertz means the display will be more smoother and then uh, in the vibrant color effect so by, de by default it will be uh, turned off just turn on these settings now you'll get a more vibrant screen effects and then there is your display scaling so so you by it is a large option and a default so make it a small setting as display scaling so it will give you a more uh, perfect look on viewing your display and finally here is a dark mode so you can able to select the dark mode so once you enable the dark mode the, now the screen is goes off dark so in the dark mode also the display is looks uh, super good so these are all the best display settings customization you can do in this oneplus 9 r smartphone now the next feature is the quick search gesture so now in the home screen option just press and hold and now just tap, tap on the home settings and here is the quick search gestures now just tap on that and by default it will be turned off just enable these features now select the option sign up uh, swipe up and hold and just to save the option so whenever so it has a two in one feature actually by swiping up you can actually access the apps in your uh, display apps in your smartphone and by swiping and holding for a short time so it will uh, goes to the, it will activate the search mode and also the keyboard will be also automatically popped up so in case if you want to search something means you can easily search and you can select the app your wish and in case if you want to calculate something means like i want to know what is 12 plus 2 so here is the result 14 and in case if i want uh, some of the product type want means so i am just searching uh, earbuds so here is a sum of the listing will be available so some of more web results uh, and here is a flipkart results also just now just select on shop shop for earbuds now i am getting a more earbuds collection so like that i can explore more things so from, from the home screen itself and uh, it will give you a more good user experience so this is one of the best feature and the next feature is the double tap to lock to activate this feature just uh, long press the home screen and go to the home settings and here is the option double tap to lock so now just uh, by default it will be in turn off condition so just enable this option and that's it so now you can easily double tap play you can unlock and lock the smartphone easily now the next feature is a swipe down for notification so by swiping uh, down you will get a never self the, that means one plus shelf option you can't able to access the uh, notification panel so you to activate the notification panel you have to uh, set, drop down the swipe down from the top so then only you can able to access the notifications and other notification settings option so now to activate the notification panel from on any display area by swiping down so you need to do so just press and hold the home screen and go to the home settings option and here is the option swipe down to access by default it is actually currently set up for shelf now just tap on the notification and quick settings and just to save this option now in the display area and at any area by swiping down you can access the notification panel and again swiping down you can actually you can manage other settings option in this notification panel like accessing your uh, bluetooth settings and uh, turning on or turning off your wi-fi settings like that and the next uh, best feature is that a quick shortcut option so in case if you are using a chrome or application means just long press the chrome application now here is the shortcut option new tab so just press and hold and uh, 
drop it somewhere here and here is option so just click on that so you'll get a new tab so every time you click on this uh, option you will get a new tab in addition so in case if you are already searching something in a new tab means you can uh, if you want to explore new things means you can just click on this to act uh, to search for the new things and similarly in case if you want to add a uh, one of your new contact in your contact list means so here is an also a one more shortcuts so just uh, long press this dialer option here is a new contact shortcuts so just long press and drop it somewhere here so whenever you want to add a new contact means so just click on this so it is actually go directly goes to the create contact page so here you can just enter the name and the mobile number and just save the contact easily and like that you can do all the things the, it is also one of the great feature for the better user experience and actually you can do the all the settings uh, on the go and that's it guys so that's all about this video guys and so what are your guys thoughts on this 10 to 15 features and if you're having uh, any you features apart from this feature and if, and uh, what are you guys thoughts on these features let us know in the comment section below so about this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys